Alright, so today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install uh, Windows 10 in a virtual machine and get it ready for scan baiting. So, you're going to need two things for, to start off with. You're going to need VMware Workstation. Uh, the link is in the description. You can download. You, you can just download the trial. And you'll also need the Windows 10 ISO. If you use this tool, you can download it pretty easily. Um, if you just um, find the download, you'll get something like this. You should choose Windows 10. You can select an edition here. I would just use uh, Home. And then English. And then download. And I would download the 64 bit version. File is finished downloading. We're going to set up the virtual machine in VMware. So you're going to go ahead and hit File, New Virtual Machine. Uh, just go with Typical. Uh, make sure you select Install the Operating System later. Uh, select whatever operating system you downloaded. In this case, I downloaded Windows 10 x64. I'm just going to name this uh, Scammer Windows 10 x64. Uh, with hard disk capacity, I select you. Uh, I suggest you choose something that would resemble a regular computer. Um, usually, uh, however, when you well, whatever disk capacity you put here will not uh, be taken up. It will just be it will just be used as the maximum file size that the disk could become. So I'm going to go with 128 gigabytes, and I would just use stores as a single file. Uh, click customize hardware uh, RAM uh, as for RAM I would suggest at least 4 gigabytes uh, this is my this, I'm going to use this virtual machine for actually scan baiting so I'm going to select uh, um, use 8 uh, as for processors I would, uh, I would suggest at least 4 cores for processor don't change this one change this one uh, go into CD DVD select use ISO hit browse and then browse to your ISO image News 10. Now for your network adapter, select NAT. For USB, uh, just leave just leave everything else as default. Make sure in display this box is selected. Click close. Click finish. Okay. At this time, you're gonna go and click power on this virtual machine. <laughs> And then you make sure you press any key to boot. Alright, so now you're just going to go through the standard Windows installation procedure. So just use uh, English and click Next, Install. Alright, um, uh, you can go and enter your product key right here. I'm just going to skip it for the time being. Uh, select the operating system. If you if you're just uh, not entering a product key, I would suggest you choose Windows 10 Home. Uh, this first one right here. Uh, if you select Home, if if you select any of these four, then then scammer is going to be quite suspicious. And then down and then for the Pro editions, if you're going to select Pro, only use this first one. I'm just going to select Home. Uh, you're going to go ahead and agree to the license terms. Uh, select custom. Uh, select your unallocated space. The space here should match the space, the capacity you entered when you did your setup. Select that and click next. And Windows should begin installing. And I'll be back when it's finished. Alright, so uh, Windows has just finished installing. This Cortana stupid thing is going, so I'm just going to mute that. So basically what you're going to do is, while this uh, Cortana thing is going, I'm just going 
uh, we're going to go ahead and set up the com set up Windows 10 as would a regular computer. Um, uh, there would be there's no Wi-Fi to worry about because this is connected through through whatever internet connection you are using. Um, so we'll just select our region. Uh, yes, we are using a keyboard. We are not adding a second keyboard layout. Okay, so with the Microsoft account, if you uh, if you're using like a f if you want like a fake identity, I would suggest you just create one through Microsoft. It makes your life that much easier. Um, just click get a new email, and we're, I'll be using my new name, which is Terry Chu. So. The password, don't, if you're using LastPass, make sure you remember this password because you're going to use it to sign in to Windows. So, I'm just going to write that down real quick. Choose a random birth date. Pick you. Alright, and Alright, so while that's being done, we are not going to create a pin. Unless I just saw that. No, I don't want to create a pin. Don't want to create a pin. Oh lord! I'm just gonna tell the pin to like you, YouTube. It's zero. It's like, oh god. Alright, so while this is going, the next thing we're going to do is go into Windows Update and download all the updates. There's going to be a lot, a ton of updates, usually. Um, this, I mean, with Windows 10, there might not be, but if you're installing Windows 7, or when, if you're installing Windows 7, there probably is. Um, with Windows 10 now, there's a, uh, if you, if you didn't know this, there was a, there's a rolling release, and we downloaded and uh, with Windows 10, I downloaded 
the release that was just released a few days ago so there shouldn't be too many updates and so i'll be back when this is finished all right so finally finished the setup and the first thing that windows does is pops up edge which i'm not using um so you're gonna go and go to start just type in update Or just go to settings. Update. And then go ahead and hit check for updates. Alright, so while this is downloading, uh, uh, we'll just wait and I'll be back. Alright, so now that the updates are finished installing, uh, we want to go ahead and install VMware tools. So, if we go ahead and just go to VM install VMware tools, uh, the uh, uh, VMware tools ISO should be inserted. Uh, it should be in the D drive. You can just run, uh, I believe it's setup64. So while that's loading, basically what VMware Tools is going to do is it's going to allow the, vir the virtual machine to integrate with VMware. For example, it, it will re uh, dynamically resize the size of the window, so it so the scammers don't catch on when it's like an 800 by 600 size window, which is not normal. So I will come back when this process finishes. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is fix it. So, if you go into MS Info 32, if Cortana will get out of the way. If you go into MS Info 32, it says system manufacturer is VMware, and that basically just gives the entire thing away. So, to fix this, we're going to go ahead and shut down the, the virtual machine. All right. So now that the computer is off, you're gonna notice down here it says uh, in the at the bottom of your virtual machine it says configuration file, and then it has a path. Okay. So if you go to this path, you're gonna notice the VMX file, the virtual machine configuration file. So if you just open this in Notepad, uh, if you just take, oh, if you just open Notepad and drag this on, you're gonna see this. Uh, at the bottom, uh, at the bottom, there's gonna be a line that's displayed on the screen right now you need to enter it down here all right so I've entered the line down here and make sure you leave an empty line at the bottom close VMware save this close the notepad window and then you can and then you can just reopen VMware And then once VMware is open, you can just power on the virtual machine. Alright, so now the virtual machine is rebooted. If we just open MS Info, you'll notice that the as soon as this loads, that the system manufacturer is now the manufacturer that's on my um my, on my host. So the next problem we're gonna fix is that if you go into programs, if you go into the uninstall programs. you'll notice that VMware Tools is in here and if VMware Tools is in here they'll basically notice just right off the bat that it's a virtual machine it's there so what we're going to do is we're going to open regedit and if you just go into HE local machine software Microsoft Windows current version uninstall and control F search for VMware tools you'll notice that this gets highlighted uh, if you just select this entire folder right click it and click delete click yes you should notice and you'll notice that uh, after that VMware Tools is no longer in the program's uninstall list. Alright, so the next thing that we're going to fix is if we go into Device Manager, you'll notice that if you go into Disk Drives, uh, it says VMware Virtual Disk Drive, and that, again, will basically just give it away. Okay, so to fix this, you're going to go into HD Local Machine, uh, 
you go into system which is here control strat 001 enum you want to right click enum click permissions uh, your username will probably not be in here so click add alright so you want to go and enter your username and to find your username just go into the file explorer uh, C users and then your username I your folder here is your username so Terry click check names okay uh, it should be highlighted just click uh, full control click advanced go into uh, click add uh, select the principal, type in your username, check names, okay. Just select, make sure it's allow, this key and sub keys, check full control, and then click OK. Now you'll just want to go and check replace all child permission object, uh, child object permission entries, and then click OK. Click yes. So the next thing you're going to need to do is change to the, um, the, uh, take ownership of the registry key. So if you go up here to owner, change type in your username click check names click OK uh, check this box and then check replace all child object permission entries and click OK just click OK don't worry about it okay alright so after this you want to go into um, make sure enum selected and you have the device manager so right click uh, the disk drive go into details select device class GUID just class GUID right click the uh, GUID click copy make sure enum selected control uh, control F search for that GUID you'll notice that that uh, brings you to that registry key if you go and go to uh, friendly name you can change this to whatever you want so I'll just change this to Sandisk 240 SSD Make that 128. Maybe we have an extra space here. Okay. Don't. All right. So, if you go back into Device Manager, Device Manager, you have to close all the dialog boxes, and then you hit uh, Scan for hardware changes. It should uh, show your new uh, change, and this needs to be done for everything that says VMware for example the DVD drives the mice alright so I have finished changing all the devices the next thing um, the last thing we're gonna do is download some apps and make it look like this computer's actually this virtual machine is actually being used so my favorite place to go of course is Ninite uh, just go to Ninite here um, uh, I'd suggest not using uh, Edge because it's just a big red flag. Um, and then you can just select whatever programs you want here and click download. And that's basically how you stock your virtual machine with programs. Alright, so I've downloaded my apps and we're gonna p I'm pretty much finished with the setup of this virtual machine. So what I'm going to do now is change the desktop background to something different. Because, uh, shoot... Alright, so after activating Windows, I can go ahead and go into my personalization settings and change the theme to, I'll just use flowers for this. And then we can go ahead and take our snapshot, and I'll just name this Ready, if you can spell, Ready for Scammer, and I'll go ahead and take the snapshot. And basically what this will do is it'll allow me to revert back to this state after I scam it a scammer. And to do that, I just press this uh, yellow button up here. And that is how you set up a virtual machine for scam baiting using VMware Workstation. And stay tuned for some scam baiting videos using this new, my new fake name, and this uh, new virtual machine. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.